Welcome to Brain Freeze! Alam niya, alam mo rin. Hello Corbini! For today's kalaman, I will teach you on how to download and install Octave GNU. So, let's watch it till the end! First is open your Google Chrome or any browsers. Here is the link. I copied it on my notepad and then paste it on your Chrome. Or you can search directly to Octave Forge website. Just type Octave Forge website. By the way, I will put the link on the description below. Here, just scroll up and look for the download button or download link. Here, I choose the 64-bit. Here, you can choose any installer that is compatible for your op what type of operating system did you have. Here, there is a hyperlink to a Windows installer. Download this installer onto your desktop or any destination you may prefer. Just wait for a little while until it finished to download. Once it finished, go to your downloads and double click on the installer icon. You will see a greeting window. Click on the next button. The next window shows you the license agreement which I recommend that you read. Click the next button. Now you will have the opportunity to choose where Octave will be installed. The default path is usually fine. When you are happy with the installation path, click on next. The following window asks you to choose between different versions of the FFT, W3, and Atlas numerical libraries that Octave uses for Fourier transforms and linear algebra computations. These different versions are specially designed for different CPU architectures. You can also choose any additional packages you want to install. Let us not worry about the details of the FFTW3 and Atlas libraries at the moment, and just choose the generic versions for now. Choose to install all additional packages by ticking the Octave Forge box. Click on Next and Octave will be Get Installed. After the installation, you can change the menu folder if you wish. If you want, you can also check the readme file, and if not, simply uncheck the box to the left of where you are asked whether you want to see the readme file. Click next and you are done. 